Yes, good morning once again. Officially, we welcome on our property matter with my way Sabi. I did talk about Mr. Debo, expert now be as far as to buy land, build out, buy house. Anything will be property uh, in the in the in charge in Sabi where we now you go the educators, they sensitize us more so that we're not gonna make mistakes. Sabi make we for know this paper and that paper we person they collect. If you buy land, Tabi, you buy house. Tabi, you acquire property in general. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. How you doing, sir? Very well. How are you? Thank God. Well done. Well yeah. done. Nice meeting you once again. You're welcome to the show. And Slimity, yeah. how are you? Good morning. Yeah, our viewers, I believe that um, you've been enjoying us over time. And today, again, we'll be talking about what you must know about off-plan deals. What are you supposed to know? Before you buy property, we be say you never did for grant. You see, did for her. She <laughs> 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 uh, some property did for her. Ah, uh -uh. property did for her. Wait, wait, no. Uh, nah, never complete. Uh, they never, they never do them. Um. Hmm. But they don't, they sell them. Hmm. Uh, yes, yes. And you don't, they buy them. Hmm. Uh, wow. I've been seeing uh, some. I don't know now. Only for flats, I they see this kind of thing where people won't rent flats. Hmm. They go, they use. They never even build that. But now. Excuse people me, people go down the P, and at their money, they go take the builder. Yeah, it's called off plan. Off mm. plan means it's not, well, if you want to translate it, it's, it's not. not <laughs> <laughs> you are buying it just from the plan. Okay. You know, you are buying it just from, from the paper that you see. You know, it's been designed, but it has not been built, and you are buying it off that paper. Okay. You know, you know, nobody say you see it for sight. That's off plan. And actually, why is important for us to discuss it is as a real estate person that is looking for bargain, person we want to buy property, where they look for property, where go fee afford, where where. This is one way to be able to get a property that you can afford. Okay. When you team up with say person where they build property to buy them before you build them. Okay. Why? Because it will give you some concession. Uh, it will give you some cost. So usually you get to buy property very, very affordable, okay, where you buy at that rate, okay? So, but what are you supposed to look out for? First, like we've explained, what is off-plan? Mm -hmm. Off-plan now say, property where they never build, where you they buy, then go, don't design them. I remember, I mean, those days when I first got into real estate and we... We, we went to one part, I think it was Dubai. It was common then, and it's still common now, anywhere in the world, actually. But it was like the only thing that is being sold then, as in all their properties, mostly were off plan. Mostly. I'm talking about 2005, six and all. Mostly were off plan. Hmm. So you will see property like this. The brochure is the brochure, the... The paper, the paper where they where design and where they take the market and you will see brochures like this. And brochures go be like saying you don't they live inside, inside the, the house. <laughs> Lights the go then they the rooms. The way, <laughs> the way where they go not design them, <laughs> you know, all those brochures. And then there's what we call a prototype. What's okay, uh, yes. For where they be like they, they use like paper do. Paper do, okay. Come on, come they, they go do all of those things. You go see them, you go, go be like say you don't see the property. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling you, call you call go that. you go be like say you don't see the property. Then some go actually get a viewing, uh, maybe the type that you want to view in their office. It may not necessarily be, maybe the way they, they will lay out something in their office that looks like a flat, exactly. So when you yeah. enter that place, you have the experience that you would have ordinarily in the finished mm. building. So plus the paper, plus the prototype, plus the viewing in the office, you don't see property. Well, mine, don't <laughs> you know? That's a real and, big deal. Real and I'm stuff. telling you, and a lot of people used to buy then. A lot of people. In fact, there is one event they used to have, a property show. They have it twice in the year, in April and in October in Dubai. They still have it now, but it's not as popular anymore. Okay? What happens in that show is that people would line up in the morning when the door opens by around 9. And they will buy, they will key into some of these off-plan projects. Mm -hmm. eh? And by noon, they are already selling. Mm -mm. As far as... As in, all the properties that are launched would ah. have been bought up that day. 
And by noon, people that are coming are just going to be buying what somebody had already, that had gotten into what we call secondary market already. Okay. That means it's been sold off primarily. Mm -hmm. It's now in the hands of other speculators or investors who I are now reselling. Hey. But what happened? In 2007-2008, the old market crashed. Mm -hmm. right. The old market crashed. Uh, yeah, it's the phenomenon of off plan. If off plan is not controlled, mm -hmm. there's a tendency, high tendency for it to be abused. Mm -hmm. And that's what we'll be discussing. Even in Nigeria, a lot of people now shy away from buying off plan because of their previous experiences, you know, bad experiences that they've had. But we will discuss today how you can identify what are the things you can do to be able to safely invest or safely buy off plan transactions if you still must buy. As we've defined off plan, I believe you know it now, okay? A developer wants to build something. He has not moved to site, okay? And he's selling to you. And you are buying based on the design and the documentation that he already has. That's what you are buying. That's off plan, basically. Now, what well, are the... Mr. Yes? Sorry, but I'm so sorry. My yeah, no problem. Early, yeah? But uh, do you get to pay? Like, okay, now you're buying. Now, when he wants to construct, do you still give him money to pay? Like, okay, <laughs> as he to pay? You say now you're buying, then do you give him money? No, what I'm saying How is that you, you buy? paid for what is on the sketch or what is in the paper already. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm saying is, now when he wants to start building, do you understand? Are there still some terms and conditions that are like maybe you guys pay for this, in this process you have to pay for that, or once you've paid for this, you are not paying for anything again. You're um, going to get ready for the house to be ready. Not really, not really. It depends on how it's structured. But you know when you say pay for this, mm -hmm. what are what is this that you're paying for? It's the house. It's yeah. not the paper. So that means you're not paying for anything. So whatever is like whatever price he wants to sell, mm -hmm. he would have communicated that to you. Everything. And the payment plan. They usually come with a payment plan. Okay. Also, if you are buying off plan, they don't expect you okay. that you, let's say it's 35 million, that you just put the 35 million naira, oh, bam, in their hands and they've not moved to side. No, okay. no, no, no. That's not, usually it comes with a payment plan. Okay. So they say, okay, it's 35 million, no, you will pay so much. Okay. Say 20% okay. now. Okay. Then there are two types, there are two ways by which the payment plan comes, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm already explaining even further into off plan and the advantages of it. One way is, of course, instrumental, but how is the instrumental package? That is, the way do they pay small, small? Mm. How is the package? One is time bound. They will say, pay 20% down, mm. pay 10% down, mm. then every month you, you pay will pay so, 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 so for 24 months, okay. for 12 months. Usually, off plans are usually between 12. And 24 months mm. off plans, mm. not the ones that, yeah, some of them 36 months maybe at most mm. okay. because the project is supposed to be progressing okay. as you are paying, okay. you okay. know. So, time bound that, that is time bound. Okay. Then, yeah. there, are, there are those that is the other instrumental plan that is milestone determined. Mm. What do you mean, milestone? milestone? Meaning, you see, in construction, there are stages. Okay. If I want to build what you call a two-story building mm. now, for example, mm. a two-story building is what we call three-floor building. It has ground floor, first floor, and um, second floor. Okay. That's two-story building. Okay. Now, I will first of all do foundation. That's okay. one milestone in construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Milestone is like, I mean, if a... a, a a stage of construction. Because it's a beginning. A milestone. Okay, like my, 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 okay, yes, 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 exactly. Milestone is like a stage of a construction that can be left on its own okay. and can be improved upon at any time, time. without okay. necessarily having to go back, okay. you know, lose some things. So if you do your foundation, not just mm. that you dig, mm. if you just dig, it mm. may not necessarily be a milestone that you can cast, mm. that you can say, ah, yes, mm -hmm. we've completed mm -hmm. this stage. Because mm -hmm. if you dig and you leave it, mm. the things that you dug will fall back yeah, into sure, the... In, yeah. Or the things will be blown plant in, and all of you that. know, to yes, cover yes. the yes. place and plants mm. will grow. And, mm. You get what I'm saying? So, but, but if once you there's a foundation, do foundation... Sure even whoever comes will know something. If you job one year, yeah, you have money to mm. go back. You mm. just start from that. That's a properly defined, clearly defined define milestones. Yeah. So, they have those type of milestones. So, okay. they will say, okay, when you do when you do 10% or 20%, mm. when we complete foundation, mm. you pay so much. Mm. When we do the uh, block work for the ground floor, mm. 
Yeah. And we get to maybe lintel. Lintel mm. is a stage before you do decking. Okay. Okay, that you pay so much. When we are to do, or when we finish the decking, mm. you pay so much. Then when we do the block work or the next stage, you pay, you so, pay much. so much. When we do, till, till when mm. we do roof, you pay so much. Then finishes, you pay so much. Finishes is now plastering, Painting putting window, all, the... all of those mm. things, internal okay. works. You okay. pay so much. And then on completion, you okay. pay this much. Oh, okay. That's oh, milestone. Oh, okay. okay, those are the two ways okay. by which you can mm. structure the instrumental mm. payment when it comes to off-plan transactions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Before we move forward, yeah, let to me ask. quickly ask: Is this plan is this still uh, very available in our own society? Uh -huh. And um, is this something we can call a uh, a cultural plan? Is it everywhere? Or is it just reserved for some maybe certain class of people because? I won't lie now. The first time when I go to hear about this, it will be this. Uh, yeah, no, it's very popular. It's wow. very, in fact, the thing that is making it now unpopular is because of the challenges they've experienced. People have experienced doing off plan transactions. Okay. And I've told you the reason why it's very popular, there are a few advantages to off plan. You have huge savings because you get discount. Mm. Okay. You would enjoy discount from the developer because you are taking a risk with him. It's mm. understandable mm. that you are taking your a money. Risk. They won't even take and this is anywhere in the world. When you are buying off plan, it is not there yet. Mm. You're just buying what it is that you mm. can see on mm. ground. Mm. So it will give you discount. So if ordinarily, when it is finished, mm. they will be selling for 35 million. Yeah, you may be buying for like 32 30, or 30, 30 yeah. or mm. something like that, you know? Mm. Meaning that, so that's why investors usually look out for those things. Okay. Doing with credible developers that they know will deliver. Okay. Mm. Because they know that already at purchase, mm. they've already made, made some mm. cool they've five already million. made money. Do you understand? Mm. I mean, if you if you if somebody is to develop something and um, let's say 30 million naira, and you got it for 35. Mm. I mean, you got it, I mean, you're yeah, supposed, supposed to sell, to sell for mm. 35, let's say it were completed today, mm -hmm. and you got it for 30, mm. you know, it means that you've already gained 5%. That's yeah. almost like, I mean, that's like about, that's more than 15% mm. already. If the project is going to be in a year, yeah. most likely when it is completed, it's not going to be 35. Mm. It's going to be yeah, 36, 37, yeah, thereabouts. So yeah. you already have 20%. So mm. you can you can even sell Save, at yeah. a little yes, lower yes. than what they are selling mm. so that you can cash out, mm. you know, almost immediately. And you are mm. not dropping the 30, 30 million at once. Yeah. So if you really calculate your return mm. on investment, mm. it's mm. even more than I mean, yeah. 20% that we are talking about. Mm. And in how many transactions can you get 20% in a year. Mm -hmm. So, huge discount. You get to enjoy discount. So, it helps you to save money. Is there a time frame? Purchase price. Like I said, depends on the project. But okay. usually from about 12 months to about 36 months is what is common. Okay. Uh, that's what is common, okay? So, you get to have enjoy savings. Then it gives you an opportunity to pay in installment. Mm. So, let's say you don't have all the money. Yeah, now... Off plan enables people to pay in installment mm. such that it's almost like a mortgage. Mm. But it's like what you can call a developer's mortgage. Okay. Or mm. you can say it's a developer's mortgage in a way because it's allowing you to pay in installments. And if you can afford it, that installment falls with your cash flow. Mm. Then it helps you to be able to afford that property without necessarily having to go and get mortgage. Mm. You know, so you don't have to go and incur any mm, more because mm. you just follow the instrumental plan. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the other uh, advantage of getting off plan. The third one is uh, it helps you to control the finishes, what you see. Mm. You know, you can say, ah, okay, me, I want so, so, so in this place. I want this type of, I want... Uh, um, I want German floor. I will, no, <laughs> interlock. Not, uh, well, German floor, yes. I want uh, interlocking in my compound. That's what I want. Or I want uh, POP roof, mm. I mean, ceiling. Mm. Uh, I want this type of uh, kitchen cabinet. Uh, this is this the beach. type of floor, I mean, tiles that yeah. I want, you know, color and all of that. Mm. This is the color I want. And all. You can make those choices, oh, yeah. you know, and save yourself money because if, if it were finished, you will have yeah, just bought what, what you are seeing. But now you have the chance of have to spend money to, now to change it to your, to your taste. taste. Yes. But now that it's just coming up, you can, you like can work with the developer to mm. get exactly nice. what you want. Okay. Sometimes mm. it will come with an additional cost. Sometimes it is exactly what the developer mm. okay. has said. Okay, we have to go on this short break. We shall be right back. Go nowhere. The best investment on earth is earth. 
The issue of say make a person get out, make a person get land, make a person. Property matter na serious business, so one of the best investments where person fee get for life. Share you be estate agent, surveyor, town planner, or you day into furniture, and you go like make the world sabi your level. Come advertise with us on top property matter where they share it for Web TV for every Tuesday from 8:15 to 9 a.m. For advert placement and sponsorship, Mokuna call Stella Maris on top 070-3914-5229. Rebecca 070-6969-1950. You're welcome back to that very interesting and uh, educating program, Property Matter. And uh, our host and Cordon, they do a lot in terms of uh, breaking down off plan deals, make or not make mistakes. Wait to be those things we'll go watch out for. And uh, we'll go open phone lines now so that everybody with the watchers go feel free to call in, ask any question. Tabi, you said one partake, you want to as they take do you like as they take explainer, feel free to talk to. Engineer Debo. <laughs> engineer Niloni. <laughs> That's the one for today. Yes, yeah, an engineer Thank today. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Olodudu. And uh, let me also take this opportunity to appreciate a, a lot of you, our viewers, people who listen to us every now and again and uh, contact us, uh, ask questions, call in and all of that. Uh, there is one name that uh, sticks out for me, Tobias uh, John. Hmm. Okay, from Taraba State. Okay. That's where you watch us from. Okay, oh. this is to acknowledge your followers. <laughs> okay, I mean, you normally well, appreciate. chats me up even after the program to let us know how you have enjoyed it. Okay, so, and uh, for a number of us that are into one aspect of real estate or the other, I hope you've identified that this is a good platform to advertise your product and yes. services, okay? So we are calling on you to patronize us, okay? Advertise your product and services on this platform. Yeah. We are listening to all over the country. Yes. That we can assure you. We I are mean, watched. Uh, oh, we are watched. <laughs> okay, well, we are watched, okay, and heard. Yeah, sure. Okay, from all over the country. So please, I mean, let's talk business. Even outside Nigeria, you know. At least we were here, we got a call from Sweden. So yeah. We are all, all over. over. We get world. calls from SA, uh, Ghana. I took, I took a friend also. I don't know if she's watching uh, from Italy, Bali in Italy. She actually called and she's really enjoying Obviously, the show. Bring show. Yourself. Yes, yes. Kenny we'll and Dio, she's a very good okay. fan of the station. So right. we say thank you very much, all our esteemed viewers, for always uh, staying tuned. Thank you. So, engineer. Yeah. So back to our discussion of plan, of plan deals. Now, what are the challenges? Mm. We've talked about the advantages. Mm. But why is it that people now run away, they shy away from, it. from this? Mm. Okay, so I would, I would still go back to the Dubai experience. Okay. So what happened? There was economic meltdown okay. in 2006. Okay. If you remember the mortgage industry, sub, uh, prime mortgage industry in the U.S. collapsed. And that affected mm, uh, the whole, resonates all over the whole world at, at the time. So... What happened was people were not able to continue to buy those transactions anymore. Mm. And we then realized that a number of those developers are not even developing at the pace that they should have been developing. Mm. So when they launch a project and they've sold, instead of you know, continuing that project, working with people and getting mm. money to pay, they move on, they rather would use some part of the money to launch mm -hmm. another project, launch another project. Mm -hmm. So some of them were having like 10 projects that they've launched, mm -hmm. but maybe just one that they're on site on. Mm -hmm. You know, they were not. Of course, the government at the time, they really... Okay, let's take a Lake 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 good morning. Good morning. Is that post project a bit? You need to no, speak a bit you louder, Lake Can you speak up a bit for us? Good morning. Good, good morning, morning. Lake Good morning. Okay, so you get questions or contributions to make. Yes. We know they hear you. Can you help us Hello, pick up morning. a bit? Lekon. 
Okay. We have I issues. think we have a, we have um, issues with that uh, call. You I need to call us back. Call. Anyway, so guys, you know what to do when you call. The numbers are on the screen already. All you need to do now is just to kill the volume on your TV set. But then you can always help projecting your voice. So just speak louder or kill the volume, and then we'll feel released. So Lekon, we appreciate if you can call us back. Of course, engineer, they were there from now till nine. And if you should miss, I mean, the opportunity to call, please, yeah. the WhatsApp number is there. You can send your questions. We're collating questions okay. because questions. one of the episodes will dedicate to Question answering questions, that. okay? Q &A. So please, let's send questions into that WhatsApp uh, number. number in case you miss the opportunity to call um, live. Show, right? Yes. Okay, sure. So we're so we're talking about the Dubai Express. So mm. people were abusing. Developers abused the process. Mm. There was a there at the time there is still a mm. regulatory body. Okay. But they also were not really doing very exactly active. what they said they would yeah, be doing. Okay. Mm. So what then happened was prices went up. Mm. Material prices went up. So the prices that they had sold to people, mm. they could not even. They mm. deliver okay. on mm. it anymore mm. because they were not working before. Mm. Mm. And now prices have gone up so much and they are just probably, some of them were just about starting projects. Mm. Wow. So we had situations where a lot of developers absconded. Mm. The they just money. left they town. Away. Yes, they just left town. Ah. And a number of them were renegotiating with uh, subscribers. Okay? I was actually about to ask that, is it not possible to renegotiate with subscribers or is it a thing of once you've paid no coming back to ask me for one No, it cover. depends on the conditions, actually, mm. that were available, okay. okay, that you signed on. Uh, some, some, like I said, renegotiated. Mm. Others saw that, A, there it was no, no point. And the then, uh, because there was no way. And mm. then there were those that were there deliberately to be fraudulent. Mm. Mm, they were just advantage. there to take advantage of that system. Mm. You know, they, they were not there to even deliver anything in the mm. first place. Mm. So a number of developers were springing up every now and then. When you travel to, I mean, this half year now, and you see someone marketing for a company, you are even trying to do transactions with the company. Mm. By the time you go in another six months, mm. maybe in the October mm -hmm. edition, the person has already mm. become a developer. Okay. Mm. He or she also has is our own site now mm -hmm. and has launched a project. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, that was very prevalent. And at the end of the day, in fact, I can tell you that only a very few names mm -hmm. that were on those days mm -hmm. are still there today. Very few. I can count them probably mm -hmm. on my first, mm -hmm. on my, I mean. Due to integrity you know, and every other mm -hmm. check. Exactly, because a lot of them had to because of these challenges. So I tell people that when you are dealing with off-plan mm -hmm. uh, transaction, Check the expertise of the company that is proposing this to you okay. and check what it is that is their plan. Mm. Most of the time, even genuine organizations have challenges. Yeah, sure. And the major challenge you usually would have with off-plan project is finance. Mm. Because when you are buying, remember, you are paying in installments. Yeah. The developer must be able to have sold to a number of people mm -hmm. to be able to then deliver to them. Yeah. If I'm building, let's say, a block of flats mm -hmm. now, eight flats, mm -hmm. and I've only been able to sell to two people, there is no way your money yes. will deliver mm -hmm. that well, project. Of course. Yeah. But if, let's yeah, say, so I've been able to sell to like ten? five people, okay out of eight, hmm. at Obviously. least that yes. project will get to a very reasonable Level. stage, yeah. you know, and other people, or the other three people will come in mm. somewhere mm. along mm. the line before mm. the project mm. is completed. Mm. You, you are more sure of that. Okay. So the ability to be able to sell it, to sell a significant number mm. is also very, very material. Mm. Now, how do people then mitigate this? Because as a developer, the developer is starting to do the transaction. Mm. You may be the first person you will meet. Mm. So, if you are interested, if yes, you pay, do. mm. you don't know how it's going to succeed yes, with other people. Does, so, yes. what developers now do is to also hold themselves out as accountable mm. and open what they call an escrow account. Okay. Or have an escrow arrangement whereby a third party, say maybe a trustee okay. or a company, okay. is guaranteeing the buyers okay. that the no property will, be, de will okay. be delivered okay. to them. Okay. Mm. Okay. You okay. understand? It will okay. be delivered okay. sure. to them. So one way that happens mm -hmm. is that the developer probably has other arrangement of funding with mm. this trustee mm. or 
what they are doing is that they open an escrow such that the money is with the trustee. And until they sell a reasonable number before they are able to collect that money mm. and okay. move to site to deliver projects. So let's pause they are only sir. able we to have, do that. We have okay, we have Sorry. Mohammed. Mohammed, good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Mohammed. Hello, morning, morning, sir. How are you doing? Fine, how work? How is business? Nah, there we day. So you got any question or contribution for Mr. Debo? No, my my is a uh, question. I saw the program is very interested. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, there is this, the program. Uh, uh, you people are talking of a uh, property matter. I want to know if someone wants to start the business as a businessman, how what is the process and how person will find you people so that you will guide him into the business? Okay, mm -hmm. if he wants to go well, into a property, is it property okay. business? <laughs> is Mohammed still on? Yeah, Mohammed, you did, yeah. What kind of business? Mr. Debo wants to know. Is it property business? Yes, it's property business. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Mohammed. Uh, property business, uh, there are so many opportunities. He, he actually even asked how he, can, how he can link up with you so that you can guide him in terms of advice. So. Well, you can, you, my WhatsApp number will be displayed on the screen. Mohamed, you can copy. Yeah, you can just copy his number uh, and then call him. Right? You can maybe send me chats. <laughs> uh, call him sometimes I'm from one meeting to the other. So I'm better on on chats and we can, we can discuss, okay? Send me a chat and let us know that we can chat about this, okay? But most importantly, when you want to start property business, you have to decide which property business what do you want to do within the property sphere because it's very very broad okay if you want to do agent agency you don't really need so much to start with mm. in terms of starting capital okay. you just need to have proper knowledge get properly trained maybe so you, the money you need is the money you need to spend investing in yourself in terms okay. of knowledge and all of that and then you can move on from there so as we're uh talking, talking yeah. regarding the of plan transactions. Mm. The major challenge, like I said, yeah. is the ability of the developer to deliver. Mm. Sometimes that is being impaired by finance, mm. majorly. But there are arrangements that developers now get into to make people more comfortable. Uh, bringing in a third party, let's say a trust company, for example, uh, uh, that would help them in securing the funding. So maybe buyers are paying into that trustee's account, or the trust is offering a guarantee okay. to buyers that, hey, you will get your property delivered mm. or you will get your money back. Okay. Guarantee. Okay. I think we have to go on a short break. Our guys on the MCR, you need to help us. Let's go on this short coffee break. <laughs> while coffee while break. we top up our cups, uh, we shall be right back. Go nowhere. Property matter shall be right back. back. Go nowhere. The best investment on earth is earth. The issue of say make a person get out, make a person get land, make a person. Property matter na serious business, so one of the best investments we perceive get for life. Share you be estate agent, surveyor, town planner, or you day into furniture, and you go like make the world sabi your level. Come advertise with us on top property matter where they share it for Web TV for every Tuesday from 8:15 to 9 a.m. For advert placement and sponsorship, Mokuna call Stella Maris on top 070-3914-5229. Rebecca 070-6969-1950. Yeah, thank you very much. We are back and uh, over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. So that's one major issue. Then the other issue, which is also part of it, is abandonment. Abandonment is very rampant with off-plan. Okay. On, on the side of the developers now? Yes, on the side of the developer. And that, most of the time, 
is not just due to the developer's fault. Now, abandonment can occur as a result of failure from either the developer or the subscriber. How do I mean? So the developer could not just continue, maybe because he has not sold significant number to be able to deliver that okay. project. So he basically maybe abandons the site eventually, okay? Or, you know, something like that. So apart from delay, the sites that have been abandoned. But also on the side of the subscriber, the subscriber paying in installment okay. may not be able to complete his payments. Which will affect whatever he's doing. And it will affect whatever the developer is doing. And this usually happens, for example, in a situation where a developer sells to, there has been situations where a developer sells to a large uh, set of people from a particular industry or company or something. Okay. And something happens in the company. The company folds up. Whether they fold up, they have issues, the uh, is not being paid, blah, blah, blah. So people cannot pay two years down the line, one year down the line. The project would suffer. Mm. And sometimes projects have been abandoned that mm. way. Or they have to, the developer has to see how he can restructure and all of those things and then repackage the project, sell to other people and then refund these people's money. So that happens also. Question, you know? sir. Question, yeah. sir. Sorry to cut you. When you talk about abandonment, something strikes, my, something strikes my mind now. What strikes my mind is the issue of insurance. Is it not possible for developers to pick up insurance policies while they are doing this? Since we know there is a big risk attached to this, uh, do they, is there any way they partner with uh, insurance agencies. So thank you, Chief Olodo. You are already learning in this uh, <laughs> in this business. So that is one way to mitigate. You know, I discussed how to mitigate delays and mm. all, yeah. or developer not delivering. Mm. Okay. So one way to mitigate abandonment is to insure. Mm -hmm. But if you also know, insurance is for a period. Mm. So let's say you are insuring your payment. They may just insure the next payment or the next. Uh, three payments, you know. Subsequently, it is expected that the person would have corrected the situation, except they go ahead to insure for loss of job. Okay. Mm. You understand? So it depends on the insurance policy you take that would ensure that that project does not suffer inflow of funds from the subscriber's hand. But insurance definitely is one way to mitigate uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, that situation. That's also why when somebody takes a mortgage, mm. you know, they also take mortgage insurance. Okay. Mm. You know? So the same thing if you're just doing what we call like a developer's mortgage, you know, I said it, you can also take that insurance to mitigate uh, the okay. subscriber not being able to pay uh, in installments. Okay, but or Mr. Lebo, what, what, yes. what happens to me if I can? Okay, we have Ola Milikon calling back. Hola, Mileko. Thanks for calling back. Good morning once again. Yes, thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning, Leko. Hola, Mileko. Good morning. You need to be a bit audible Your this time around. Your voice is still the same. Can you speak up, Leko? We know they hear you. I say you should reduce you your TV talk. volume, then increase no. your voice. Increase your voice so that I'll go feel hear you when we are big. I, it's obvious you're going to call us back. Okay, so I was asking you, uh, if at the end of the day I no fee fulfill my payment, like yeah. maybe I start and I've been reach a very reasonable stage, okay. but then I can no longer continue, what happens to me? Or paraventure debt comes in, what happens? Do you get somebody to continue or do you guys, ref or do they refund the money to the, uh, to the family? Okay, thank you. So in transactions like this, mm -hmm. you would have entered into what we call deed of contract or deed of contract of sale. Okay. Okay. Deed of contract or contract of sale, okay? And that would have stated what would happen in situations in the scenarios that you painted. So, mm -hmm. uh, say for example, death. If any member of the family, okay. let's say the nest of kin or any member of the family, can pick up the payment okay. and continue with it, then okay. it oh, helps. So, you know, it okay, goes on okay. that way. So it is not automatically written off. No, 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 no. Depends on what is written in okay, the, in the, the deed of contract. Okay. okay. Then if let's say you cannot continue payment mm -hmm. and you say, hey. I can't, I can no longer continue. Mm -hmm. Then what it means is they will probably have to refund you. So mm -hmm. also what you will be refunded and all of that will be stated. Okay. Yeah, it will be stated. I mean, and it depends. It varies from one project to so, the other, okay. from one company to the other, from one country to the other. So okay. one can't say this is how. Okay. Your responsibility as a buyer is to go through your terms and okay. conditions, okay, for your deed of contract. Okay. And then you can, you can explore that. Right. So, so, 
insurance can help you mitigate that. The okay. other thing uh, that people are doing, especially developers are doing, is to also see how they can increase the level of regulation, mm. okay, to help in mitigating whether delay or abandonment, the level of regulation. For example, in other developed uh, climbs, what has happened to date is that they have regulatory bodies okay. Okay. who subscribers sign up to, to be a part of, mm. and are then bound by the code of conduct and ethics of that body, okay. such that when you collect money, there is even how you treat the money. You know, I mentioned the trust, for example. Mm. 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 So, in some, in some claim, it is standard practice mm. that payment does not go to the developer. to the developer's account, account. or okay. to, the, to an account that is solely controlled by the developer. Okay. No. Okay. Is, it goes to an escrow account mm. that is set up for that project. Okay. Developer has signatory. Mm. The escrow agent, who they sometimes is the regulatory body, mm -hmm. has signatory. Okay. Okay? And money is not disbursed from that account to the developer for the purpose of the project okay. until the site is checked mm. okay. and they see that, okay, progress is being achieved mm. on site, uh, milestones is being achieved, then they mm. disburse also in milestones, mm. such that if anything should go amiss, mm. it will be within a controlled okay. parameter. Mm. You know, it will be, it will not be, it will not be so mm. damaging mm. as it were. Mm. So that is not be so severe. So that's one other system that is happening all over the world. And even in Nigeria, I mean, a number of developers are already thinking in that light and coming together mm. or individually to work that kind of structure, such mm -hmm. that I have an escrow arrangement, you pay into that escrow I mean, uh, company, and I have a working relationship, an uh, understanding with this escrow party to be able to get That's funding that. for my project. So your project is secure. That, that even yeah. gives the, the subscriber that peace of mind that, okay, well, Abscondium is out of it now. Mm. Yes, doesn't even have yes, because here now there is a third party mm. and there is a system of uh, that would delicate mm. trust mm. that has been put in place. So that's what I want to just appeal to, I mean, the market for, because before now, before some of these uh, mechanisms uh, that we are now putting mm. in place mm. as developers and all, a lot of people don't want to hear <laughs> about off plan anymore. Blame them. Mm. I mean, and you can't blame them because they've gotten their fingers burnt a number of times. Mm. I mean, and like I said, sometimes developers are responsible for it. At other times, subscribers. the system mm. is responsible for it. At other times, it's a subscriber also mm. that are responsible for some mm. of these things. But the best thing is that people are able to tidy up arrangements, okay, like this, to ensure that it saves people a lot. Because off-plan transaction is one way by which you can get mileage. You can mm. get huge value for your investment. I mean, a lot of investors. So what happens in any in any sane and well-organized climb is that developers, I mean, investors look out for off-plan transactions. Mm. So they say, hey, are you about to start a project? Okay. They negotiate you because they know that you want to sell a significant number. Mm. So you have 20 units. They may come as a group and say, we are taking 10 units. They know that that definitely will help you deliver. It's almost as good as the project mm -hmm. is successful. Mm -hmm. If you can sell 10 of it, that's 50% yeah, sure. off plan. Yeah. Then it's almost as good. So if you have to sell for, say, 15 million, mm. they may be negotiating you for 12 million. Mm. You know? But unable. what happens also for the developer? I will say, okay, I will take 12 million, but it will mean that you guys will have to first put down 50%, hmm. and then the other 50% will spread over. And I mean, So it's a win-win situation okay. for everybody. Okay. Developer has enough money to be able to push his project yes. to stage that. Mm -hmm. Other people, individual buyers, can believe in it. Okay. And then the investors also are able to get huge you know, discount hmm. for their money. And sometimes, part of the agreement is that the developer is responsible for selling those, I mean, stocks mm. that the investors purchased. Mm. Okay. The developer is responsible and probably at a particular price, minimum of. Mm. So they say, okay, you sell it for a minimum of 15 million. Mm. We bought it for 12. You sell it for a minimum of 15 million anytime from 12 months time. Okay. The sales okay. of the. You know, so, and you sell our own first. Mm. Okay. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. You say from that 12 months, you sell our, our own first. So wherever okay. you've sold up to that 12 months, mm. whatever you sell, you mm. must sell our own okay. before okay. you can continue okay. to sell your own. Okay. All of those, I mean, does discussions. It, does it come with a selling price for the subscribers now who says they should sell their? Is, is it that there's a must that this is the this is the selling price you must sell, or 
it uh, varies on individuals. I don't get what I, I'm not. The, the, sell, the sales of this property now. Uh, that's that's negotiation now. Then so, then so then. hypothetically, let's say a transaction as a developer, I'm selling my unit off plan, okay. 15 million. Okay. I say buy 15 million now off plan because when we finish, we will sell for 17. Hmm. Okay. For example, and I say it's 12 months off plan. Okay. Okay. Then I run into a group of people. I have 20 units. I run into a group of people who are ready to take 10 units, hmm. and they say, "They but we can't pay 15 million." will pay you 12 million. Ordinarily, my 15 million, I was ready for people mm -hmm. to spread it over 12 months. 12 months mm -hmm. sure. And then I look at it, I say, okay, fine. If they are do, going to do 12 million, I'm losing 3 million each, mm -hmm. 10 units. I may even just sell that 10 units and not sell any other one, less than 17 million in the project mm -hmm. again. Which means so you have 10 I take, I take their 12, but to help me, I can say, okay, you would have to pay the installment in six months. You mm. do me 50% okay. mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. okay? Next. And then the next three months, you do me the 25. The next, next three months, you do me the 25. Mm. So in six months, you've you paid off. Meaning that that money, if I push it into that project, I probably would have achieved the remaining time. like mm -hmm. about 80% completion mm -hmm. of the whole project, yeah. you know, such that it helps me to be able to then start selling at 17 mm -hmm. Okay, engineer, engineer Adebon, thank you very much. That's, That's a mathematical <laughs> show we, <laughs> we do today, but uh, now we started with Thank you very much, our viewers. Thank you. We'll Bye, guys.